Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into another BI tool called uh, called Metabase. Metabase is a powerful open source BI tool uh, that is changing the way teams work with uh, with the data. Uh, it is um, it's open source. That means you don't need to pay any licensing fee. And uh, today we are going to discuss uh, how to set up Metabase using on 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 um, on your virtual machine uh, a server or your local host using uh, using docker so if you want to learn how to deploy it on the local machine using a local server using docker um, stick around but let's first uh, understand what metabase is this uh, as i said it's an open source bi uh, visualization platform um, and it's designed to be super user friendly uh, it's not very complex uh, you don't need to know um, sql or advanced queries um, so it is uh, it is a very simple tool which um, um, any other user any user without much knowledge of sql or the queries can can use it uh, uh, how it's different from um, other is, um, as I said, it's open source um, and mainly it's free. Um, if you're looking for embedded uh, analytics, then of course you need to pay. Uh, you need to pay the fees, which is here. The, the, you can see the comparison between you know what's in open source, what's in starter, pro, and enterprise um, level. And then if you're looking for embedded analytics, then um, it's only available in the pro or enterprise uh, licensing. Um, it's, it's very easy to use um, as compared to Tableau Click uh, or even Power BI. It's quite easy. Um, you can deploy it locally uh, on your server or on your machine or using Docker, uh, or you can deploy it uh, on, uh, on a Metabus Cloud. Um, there is, you know, the, there's a community available. You can, um, as, as, because it's open source, you can talk to community if, if, with your uh, with your um, questions and problems, and they will try to solve it. Um, because it's easy to use, um, so a lot of advanced, you know, it, it's targeted toward the the basic users. So that's why advanced modeling features and complex complex ETL integration or deep governance controls um, are lacking to some extent. Uh, but for small to medium teams, uh, it is more than enough. So that was a brief introduction about uh, what Metabase is. Uh, so let's quickly go through um, deployment options. So you can deploy it on cloud. There you go. So you need to create your account. And um, it's, uh, if you go next, it will ask for certain details. You need to agree, and then you need to select your payment plan and uh, deploy it. So what we're going to do is we're going to deploy. And we're going to use open source uh, version today. So there are various options. You can use jar file and Docker image. So but we're going to stick to Docker. Right. So. Here's a detailed documentation um, about Docker. And they have also given the Docker Compose sample file. So, but for your ease, um, if you find this complex, we have created a very easy to use guide on modric.com. So if you go here, so we're gonna follow these steps. Uh, these are the system requirements. You need um, 2 to 4 GB RAM, 10 GB desk, Docker, Docker Compose. You need to have uh, network ports open. Um, installation is very simple. So what uh, we're going to do is uh, let's just bear with me one second. So we have. So here we have created a folder called Metaphase. So let's delete everything. Um, now before even we delete, because my instance is already running, so I'm gonna stop it. And I'm gonna delete it. Okay. 
So now if I go back to the folder and delete everything here and open this in VS Code. Okay. All right. So just increase the font a little bit. So it's a simple compose file. I mean, um, this is the it's fetching lat latest metabase uh, image. It's starting on the port three triple zero. This is the environment. It's using uh, Postgres, um, and uh, you know the term basic. So you, uh, I strongly recommend you to change your password and the username, etc. And here is the Postgres sixteen deployment. The container name is better better base db um, the username password you can change and, uh, and that is bridge so easy peasy so if i go back open terminal here Right, so so this is the compose file I've just explained to you. You just need to use Docker compose command. So it will here you go. Oh, so, so it will fetch. I mean, it, because already uh, downloaded uh, the image, uh, but in your case, it will fetch um, everything from. It will fetch the image first, and you can see Metabase is running. Okay, so localhost. So this is the first time uh, setup. You will see uh, the increase the font size. So get started. You can check your language. Uh, I'm gonna use Mudrick Lab info at mudrick.com. Mudrick, create your password. Confirm your password. Next, just select. Um, so sample is already included, um, uh, data set is already included, you know, you can select the, the database you want to use, uh, but skip for now and finish it. Okay, that's it. It's here. If I go to examples, e-commerce dashboard, this is already here. Uh, so as you can see we can go to different tabs so we'll discuss in more detail like we did for uh, superset we'll discuss in detail various options settings customization etc today's video was mainly about uh, how to deploy it on local machine or local server or any server uh, even on cloud uh, in vm using uh, docker okay so let's go to account settings so this is where you can change the password and everything let's go to admin uh, right so this is uh, various authentication options you can set up google api keys etc uh, it's various localization you can do uh, but let's do the database right so we want to add and you can also set the permissions of your so let's just quickly go through the database so add a database so um, i have a local database running uh, and this is critical so if you um, if you go to setting here so you can access it at uh, the 3000 port now if you are your database is running um, on uh, database is running within docker then you know use the first 
option but in my case my database is running outside the docker so i'm going to use the second option where uh, for host i'm going to use host.docker.internal and uh, let me just get the string so i'm going to copy my string here so postgres is the username postgres is the password 5432 and finlytics is the name of database so if you copy the string you can manually uh, populate these uh, fields but uh, because i copied the string it has automatically populated uh, everything for me so i'm gonna save uh, you can configure the permissions here for various uh, tables uh, but yeah that's it so database is connected now we have all the data available now so to add a new chart or new dashboard the new new dashboard just you know again we'll, we'll cover in detail but just quickly and uh, if you want to add a new chart you can you know select a new question uh, this is my database this is sample database so you can select and visualize this is all the data if i click on visualization here i can select uh, various uh, charts so i need to select the field so account id and payment done so you can see right so there was a um, quick video on how to deploy metabase uh, another open source very easy to use um, bi tool using docker and uh, the detail guide is already here metabase docker guide and uh, you don't need to do anything i mean this is very simple uh the, the, if you if you want to run it using nginx then you know there's the, the also a guide here but today we are only going to cover uh, deploying it on a local machine without nginx so that's it take care of yourself and the people around you and uh, do like and subscribe if you uh, find these videos helpful and uh, do visit mudrik uh, lab for more tutorial and uh, more guidelines also more more guides with that uh, thank you very much and uh, goodbye